How's it going? It's Odie. I want to talk to you about the MS-102. We've got a new exam coming around the corner here. It's coming out in a few months. In fact, it's going to be out, uh, let's see, looks like May 2023. This exam is, this is a cool one. This is an interesting one. It's an amalgamation of two other exams, and presumably they'll be getting shuttled off here into the near future. Um, <clears throat> What I want to talk to you real quick is what makes this exam unique, what it's comprised of, how it relates to the other two, and what you need to know so you can go into it. And uh, if you want to take an early shot at it, knowing that there's not going to be much information and that, of course, this is very much subject to change, you know, you're welcome to it. I know I'm going to it. Thirst for adventure. Sign me up, right? <laughs> so the MS-102, right? We already had the 100 and the 101. I'm not going to go into too much detail on either of those right now. I'm just going to tell you that the 102, which has these four sections listed right here, right? Deploy and manage a Microsoft 365 tenant, implement and manage identity and access in Azure AD, manage security and ten, uh, threats by using Microsoft 365 Defender, and manage compliance by using Microsoft Purview. These four items are comprised of uh, several different components of the 100 and the 101. The first section is uh, mostly a direct carryover of the first part of the 100. So deploy and manage a Microsoft 365, it's pretty much a direct uh, carryover. No Viva or uh, uh, adoption score on the 102, but does include licensing and bulk creation. Uh, the second section, the implement and manage identity and access, this is from the second and third parts of the MS-100. So it's 60% of the MS-100 is the 30% of this particular exam. And what they left out was anything to do with applications and complex architecture. So like multi-tenant, multi-forest stuff, they, uh, they're sticking more to the administration focus, of course, of identity and, uh, and Active Directory. That third section, that is the second part of the MS-101, the second of the third part. It's uh, pretty much a direct carryover. It uh, includes threat analytics for Defender, uh, but it looks like there isn't going to be anything about MDCA, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps on the 102. That would be surprising to me because that's very interesting. Um, Microsoft's pushing folks towards that direction and the, through licensing changes, there's more access to MDCA now, uh, even if you don't have all the cool enterprise stuff. So we'll see where that one's at. But currently, I don't see anything about MDCA on the 102. Um, and then the last section about compliance, that's also going to be a direct carryover for the 101, the third part, the third part of that test. Um, there's nothing about investigation or e-discovery, but otherwise it's uh, real deep into endpoint and cloud DLP. And then of course, labels and sensitivity policies, all that good stuff that you've got in purview. So um, that's what you're basically going into at ARMS for. You're a, uh, what are they calling that? The, that's the, uh, the Microsoft 365 just administrator, right? <clears throat> so not necessarily an organizational requirement, uh, to be part of a huge team. You might be an administrator in a small organization, but also this is a great exam for anyone that it might be part of a very large entity. And all of the things that we've talked about are in some way going to be a small part of what you're doing. And you want to get savvy on those before you get into say, deep dive into purview or working in the Azure space or dedicating yourself into IAM. I think that's everything we got for the MS 102. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Looking forward to this new exam. Uh, have a great one, everybody. <laughs>